Hey there everybody, welcome back to Cool Science and today we'll be measuring atmospheric pressure. Um, this is pretty much the pressure that is in the atmosphere. Um, and I thought this would be a good subject because of the upcoming hurricane season. So for this project we're going to need a few simple materials, anything you can find around the house really. Well, I took this plastic, it can be any form of plastic I assume it has to be kind of like this. I got that from a Ziploc baggie from like a sandwich baggie but you can just throw that away. Um, next you'll need a rubber band any will do except those really really long ones you really don't need those. A straw a cup glass preferably um, it doesn't have to be clear it can be a, a tin can for all I care like an aluminum and what is my plastic doing and stuff okay just air conditioners will not weigh it down with that alright then you'll need tape as you can see I put a little piece of it on the side of the cup it's not supposed to be there um, you'll need a piece of paper and something to write with I got a really crappy highlighter that I just picked up out of the blue Barely writes, but it's good enough. Okay, now first thing we're gonna need to do is take this tape off the cup because that's just gonna get in the way. Honestly, guys, this is my first time doing this, so if it doesn't actually work for you and somehow it works for me, or if it doesn't work for me but it works for you and I did something wrong, don't blame me. But I thought this would be an interesting project, seeing as the hurricane season's coming up, and we already have our first tropical storm. I forget the name of it. I definitely know it starts with an A. Living in Florida, this could always be useful. Next, we will take our piece of tape, and uh, I guess we just put the straw right on top of it like this. I guess I'd want this to be a little bit more compact don't worry I'm not doing anything that's that special at the moment I'm just stretching this thing out and yeah I hear it works better with the balloon if you cut like the top off the balloon it will stand a lot better seeing as it's pretty much rubber or latex so we put that right there and tear off a small piece of that and tape that right onto there if it wants to stick this one wants to stick maybe I should pick the tape better than masking tape I don't know where my scotch tape is. Yeah, so, so, so now it's lifting up. Oh, that's a shame. Oh well, but I assume it's no problem because what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this sheet of paper up against the wall and over time you see as the pressure increases It'll be in the pressure, the barometric pressure outside increases. Um, uh, the air pressure, as it will be greater than the air pressure in here because it's airtight, will push down on this plastic, causing the straw to lift up. And this is where the paper comes in handy. And this will, what you'll do is you'll like, it's right here at the moment. You'll mark it like right there. You can see that, yeah, you can see that, just in case. Okay, but as the pressure goes up, this will be pushed down, forcing this down, which will force that up, and as it goes up, you will mark the position. Now, if the barometric pressure goes down, then this indicates that there's possibly a low-pressure system in your area, and the 
that will the straw tip will go down. It's very simple actually, pretty simple design. Um, what I would recommend is that you tape the piece of paper up to a wall and uh, have your writing utensil right near it and put this right where it will not be disturbed at all. Um, put it where there's no air conditioner or anything. I'm sitting in front of an air conditioner. I'm not going to set it up because then I have to create a whole new video on watching it move and then put photos up of the line moving and I really, really don't feel like doing that because I'm just too lazy to. But if you guys actually do manage to do it successfully, um, please post a video response. I'd love to hear about it and see about it. Um, but other words, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment.